Have you ever had pain at the back of your heel right here? Maybe it rubs against the back of your shoe. Maybe you wake up in the morning and your tendon feels sluggish and painful and you gotta stretch it out over about half an hour just to get going. Well, you may have heel bursitis. What heel bursitis is, is two frictionless sacs, basically like Teflon on your frying pan that prevent f the rubbing of the Achilles tendon against the bone and against the skin. So the goal is with these two things that it, the tendon is supposed to slide through normally. But as it gets irritated for whatever reason, they can become scarred, not as smooth, fluid can build up there, and you can develop a little sack or a bump like that that can irritate the back of your heel and be sore. You can also have pain at the bottom of the arch that's not really bursitis, but keep watching this guide and you'll learn how to take care of all this type of inflammation pain because basically the same process causes it. So confirm the irritation of the heel bursitis. Even if you don't have heel bursitis, you're going to have inflammation if it's causing pain in this area and it's going to be treated the same. So is your tendon more swollen? Is it more red? Is it painful in the morning or after you sleep or rest? This is inflammation. And you can confirm this further. Try and stand on your tippy toes and flex your Achilles tendon. If it gets irritated anywhere around here, especially in the morning or after rest, you have some inflammation going on there. And if you do have a bump, it might even be calcification of the tendon, which is due to chronic inflammation over the years. And it might even be just a larger, bigger spur on the back of your calcaneus that's impinging on the bursa and causing pain, and causing inflammation up and down the tendon. So the reason Achilles is susceptible to being irritated at the insertion is when you walk and run, basically on one foot, that tendon absorbs the force of three to four times your body weight. So for most of us, it's 800 pounds, and for other people, a lot more. So here's what you do with the first step. Start anti-inflammation protocols. If it's sore in the morning, massage it. Gently stretch it at the Achilles tendon. Bend the foot back and massage out the tendon with your hands. Roll it on a tennis ball. Whatever you want to do, there's a million ways out there. You don't have to buy anything expensive at the store. Ice. I can't overstate the importance of ice. Most people think ice is just a thing to decrease pain. And they say, I'm too tough for this ice. I don't need it. But what you have to realize is in the healing process, once the faster you get inflammation down, the faster the healing cells can start working. That's just the phases of the healing process. So icing will help you heal faster. It's not just for the pain. And then on that note, in anti-inflammatories, ibuprofen, topical anti-inflammatory gels, check with your podiatrist so that you can use these. But Take it as recommended for joint and muscle pain, and it will decrease inflammation and get the healing process started much sooner. In the meantime, if you're a hardcore runner, I understand if you have to train for a race, by all means do it. Just understand that if you try some biking, some swimming to keep up your cardio, but in the meantime, that will help it heal a little bit faster. You can still keep running, but it can extend your healing time. Stretching. Once the pain's down, do hamstring stretches, calf stretches, plantar fascia stretches. Get all that in. You can simply just hang off a ledge of stairs, lean forward on a rolled up carpet, or even just push against the wall. These things are extremely important. Once that inflammation's down, stretch it out. That's going to prevent it from coming back. Do each, each of those three muscle groups, hamstring, calf, and plantar fascia, about 30 seconds per day. So, you know, a couple minutes per day, you can do that. And then if you can't do that and you want to invest in a night splint, this thing basically stretches your plantar fascia and your calf for you. That helps with bottom of the heel pain and back of the heel pain. Then look into great shoes. Learn to measure them properly. Get a good over-the-counter orthotic. These should be a rigid type. I know most of you have been burned buy these before by buying those cheap crummy convenience store brands but you can get a hard rigid one like power step for 20 to 30 bucks online and it's going to change your life you're going to be able to stand hours more you can try a heel 
insert. The only reason I'm not super huge on these is they're not a long-term solution. Do these just to ease in until your stretching takes over because if you start using them, you could become dependent on them for the rest of your life. And then I talked about the night splint. And then if that's still not working, go see your podiatrist because one out of 20 people won't feel better after a couple weeks of doing all these treatments and maybe something's wrong. Maybe nerve impingement, scar tissue buildup. Uh, it could be that bony deformity. It could be many other things. So a podiatrist is going to check that out and be able to give you great treatment options. And if the bottom of the arch is still hurting, apply all the same principles. Massage in the morning in the arch, stretch it out, stretch out the arch ligaments, as you can see down here when the big toe is bent up, and ice that. Freeze a water bottle and ice the bottom of your foot for 15 minutes. I hope that helped. If you guys want more in-depth guys, shoe gear, product selection, how to do these stretches, and other conditions, come check it out. Do not try any of this at home alone without supervision. This is presented by Michigan Foot Doctors. If you think our information helped you, give us a thumbs up and come visit the site for even more.